the fuzzy sense of self is where you don't have a strong sense of who you are unless you're referencing someone else. So meaning like in relation to someone else or a situation or circumstance or your job or money, like you don't, it's very amorphous sense of self mm -hmm. and a strong sense of self, um, the way I'm speaking about it is I don't mean just from like an ego standpoint. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's like clarity from a higher order where you are aware of who you are from a larger sense of self, what, what I call the big S self, identified with spirit and more aware of your brilliance. So you have that internal strong sense of like, you know who you are, mm. you know? And so therefore you won't um, uh, be controlled as easily. You won't be oppressed, you know, because you're just like, I know the brilliance that I am and I'm not gonna tolerate that. Mm -hmm. you see? So it's like someone who's so strong that it that it doesn't matter what's going on outside of them. Exactly. Yeah, and they have yeah. nothing to prove. Yeah. Um, they're not. Need, they don't need to be better than anyone else. They're more neutral. So it's like, okay, well, if that doesn't go as they hoped, they're like, okay, well, I'm going to be neutral to that. I don't have to ex be with it. Meaning, mm -hmm. like, I can choose to leave. But they're not fighting in resistance, right? Mm -hmm. Because they understand or feel the sense of who they are on a bigger scale. Mm -hmm. Now, that sounds very grand, right? And it's not like we necessarily have to have that all the time, right? But more of that. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Whereas um, somebody with a fuzzy sense of self doesn't have that. And so they're constant, they don't know who they are. Mm. And so they're seeking a lot, like, who am I? And a lot of people will, um, as a result, they um, will, with somebody like that, they'll like kind of like, they need the momentum of other people. Like they can get excited and rally behind someone else. Okay. Would you say that's like a leader and a follower? Can, can be. It yeah. can be, doesn't yeah. have to be. And it's not even, yeah. it's not even that they're weak because it's not about weakness, it's just that on their own, they can't generate that kind of excitement because mm -hmm. they don't have a sense of who they are. Mm -hmm. So they need someone else's excitement to propel them. I wonder about fuzzy sense of self people, are they more easily swayed? Can, yes, okay. by someone else's enthusiasm, excitement, opinion, opinion whatever that type of thing. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's easy, and you and I have talked about this before, where for them to lose themselves in like relationship. Yes. Okay? Whether it's an intimate partner or friendships or whatever, because they don't have a strong sense of self. And so they need the other person to sort of give them like who they are. And a lot of people who have a fuzzy sense of self actually often will have a lot of friends, either, either the, it's funny, they'll either have a lot of friends so they can kind of bounce off of them and know who they are, or they're kind of alone because they don't, you know, they, they can't, um, it's hard for them to like, get their bearings like they don't really do you know what I mean they it's like they because when they're in interaction with other people sometimes because they have such a soft or amorphous sense of self other people push into them ah you know they'll push the frequencies into them they'll try to bully them that mm. type of thing or like get them to go their way because it's easy to right they don't have a strong sense of self so it's like okay I'll follow along mm -hmm. but it's not because they're weak but it's just because they they don't you know what I mean? They don't know yeah. where the boundary of them is right. and another. Right. So it's like sometimes they'll self-isolate because they're... Because they're... That's, that's a not great feeling. Exactly. Yeah. So they don't really like that sense of yeah. like people trying to push them. And they're hypersensitive to control in that way because... Do, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. They're always being pushed into and yeah. they don't like it. I've actually seen people and I know people who... Um, fuzzy sense of self, have a lot of friends, mm -hmm. do the bouncing off thing mm -hmm. and then feel... Like it's almost like they get these crash moments where they yes. have to be alone because yeah. they're completely exhausted. Yeah, and then don't even know what's going. On, you know, and yeah. then, and do like the little isolation thing. Yes, and then go back out and then like yeah yeah. So what they're doing in that that thank you for that because yeah. what they're doing is kind of a version of what the person does by themselves, right? But what they're doing is they're in, in interaction with other people so they can feel something about themselves, right? Because yeah. they're in relation, like they're defining in relation to other people. Mm -hmm. But then those people push into them, which doesn't feel good, just like the other person who self-isolates, yeah. right? And it feels like exhausting after a while because all these people are pushing into them. They're like, oh God, it's too much, right? Mm -hmm. And then they self-isolate for a little while, but then they kind of freak out because they're like, well, who am I? Yep. It's yep. like depressing, right? And they're like, and they feel this aloneness because the emptiness that they're feeling is because they need the other to feel them. 